Oh, um, science is the most um, rigorous search for truth of any kind that humans know. There is nothing uh, similar. Uh, if you have a result that is unusual, in other words, it doesn't fit the model of what people would have expected, then you can expect all scientists to look at it skeptically and to test it and push and see, is this true or is it not? So the more significant a result, the more you can be sure that it will be tested in every way possible. Most, you want to be your harshest critic. Uh, you actually want to, of course you want to say, okay, it's coming out the way I thought. But the very best scientists are able to say, okay, maybe so, but take the other side and say, how could you be fooling yourself? Uh, maybe you're interpreting it wrong, or, right? You, and so the best scientists are their best known critics. Um, now, we also have a system in science where you do something, you give a talk, you write a paper, and other scientists um, may not believe you. And there's also this dichotomy, you write a paper, goes and the reviewer uh, says, no, 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 this is wrong, or no, this is stupid, or it's been done before. And, and you just can't understand how the reviewer could be so stupid about not recognizing what a jewel this piece of work is. And then when you review someone else's work, the author thinks, how could this reviewer be so stupid? <laughs> so this, I, I'm joking a little bit, uh, in, but in a certain sense, uh, this self-policing, first of the person to their own work, but also each other, uh, keeps the system honest. Good scientists don't do unuseful science. Unuseful science are scientists who do bad science. They know it's bad science, and then they let people, like politicians, use it for their own benefit. And I would call that to be unuseful science. And especially in the area of climate change, for instance, there's a lot of unuseful science. So as a sci the public has trouble with this. If you ask me, is there climate change? And I'm a world leader in energy, like there's a lot of people here. And I think they would all say the same thing I would say. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is. Now, why don't I say I'm sure of it, unequivocally? Because a good scientist knows you only say I'm sure about something with a law of nature. So what we do is we say you take the amount of science and data we know as we know it, and then we put probabilities on it. So a bad scientist would say, no, there's no climate change, or yes, there's climate change, because yes means I'm 100% sure. If you're, we don't know, I can't say with 100% certainty, but I can say with a high level of confidence, 95%, 98%, I'm confident there's climate change. When I'm on TV in America, if I say that, they'll have somebody else who is a scientist, but they're not real, and say, so, oh, so there's some doubt in your mind. And I say, yeah, there's some doubt, because I'm 98 or not. And, and then they'll, I'll say, is there any doubt in your mind? And they'll say, no. And I said, okay, so the only thing we've established is you're a bad scientist. Because even the person who wants to say or is doubting it, they have to doubt it with some certainty. So when I see bad science, it's scientists who say yes or no, because that's a very hard thing to do as a scientist. Because you're never, you, it's hard to design a set of experiments that are totally contained and there's no question. And that's a law of nature. Like I know as a law of nature that gravity exists and we've explained it. And every experimental test we've ever done says there's a, that gravity exists. So that's a law. But there are other things like in climate change, there are no laws of nature on climate change. So, so I really think there's bad science and there is bad science when I see scientists not explaining to people the correct use of their science and how they should think about science. One of the most important things for all societies is to learn to um, 
respect the scientific method and also to use it as much as possible because it is truly a method that, um, that is rigorous in its approach to truth. So yes, we can trust it actually. Uh, it's something that I really think is one of the few things in this life that we can trust. <laughs>